Elite Facts presents 15 Rare Horrifying Diseases of All Time Number 15 Lamry Disease A Human Eye Disease This really isn't a disease, but you may have run across the images online. The disease looks scary, but it's actually done by someone using the Photoshop program, and it's not real. It's done by taking the buccal canal, which is the toothy part of the lamprey suction mouth, and putting this on an eyeball. After some touch-ups, it looks like an infected eyeball. Number 14. Porphyria, the Vampire Disease This disease will remind you of a Hollywood vampire. The technical name is Porphyria, and it's a set of genetic disorders where the part of the hemoglobin called the heme isn't properly made, and there's a malfunction with the production of hemoglobin. The skin becomes sensitive to sunlight. They have red-colored urine or purple, and the gums will shrink, so the teeth are more prominent like a canine's, and they have a negative reaction to garlic. They may get cramps or abdominal pain in some forms of the disease. They can have nervous system problems like mental disturbances, nerve damage, or seizures. Number 13. Progeria Hudson-Gilford Progeria Syndrome, or progeria, as it's commonly called, is a very rare disease where there's a fatal genetic condition. The disease comes from the Greek word progeros, which means prematurely old, and the word geras, which means old age. The disease impacts children and makes them look like they're aging rapidly. The classic type of the disease is Hutchinson-Gill Progeria Syndrome, HGPS. It was first described in England by Dr. Jonathan Hutchinson in 1886, and then in 1897 by Dr. Jonathan Hutchinson. Number 12. Tree Bark Skin Disorder this is called the tree man disease, or goes by the technical name Epimodisplasia verruciformis, and it's an immune deficiency. This is a failed response to HPV type 2, or the human polymavirus. It's believed to come from a genetic defect. This defect is important because it can help scientists find a cure for it. Those that have a weak immune system can't fight the HPV virus, and they are at risk of developing the tree man disease. The body cannot contain warts, and the virus will hijack the skin cells at the cellular level, and they develop a large amount of growths, which are tree-like, and are called cutaneous horns. Number 11. Lion Face Syndrome This condition enlarges the bones of the face and gives a lion-like appearance. The sinuses can be obliterated. There can be malocclusion as well as blindness. Number 10. Werewolf Syndrome This is called the Ambrose Syndrome or hypertrichosis and results in abnormal hair growth on the body. Extensive cases of it have been labeled Werewolf Syndrome as the large amount of hair resembles a werewolf. Generalized hypertrichosis occurs all over the body and localized hypertrichosis will be restricted to a certain area of the body. It can be present at birth or a person may acquire it later on in life. In the circus, there are performers which have had this condition, such as Julia Pastrana, who had hypertrichosis. These individuals are often promoted as having animal traits. Number 9. Proteus Syndrome This condition is a rare overgrowth. It causes differences in growth rate of body parts. It is often asymmetric, so it doesn't impact body parts the same way. The word Proteus comes from the ancient Greek god of change. It's called this because it causes changes to body structures over time, such as larger than normal legs. Number 8. Neurofibromatosis This is a multi-system genetic disorder and goes by the technical name of urofibromatosis type 1, NF1. It's characterized by cutaneous findings such as axillary freckling and cafe L8 spots by skeletal dysplasias. There's also malignant nervous system tumors as well as benign ones such as benign neurofibromas. Number 7. Polydactylism this condition is where you have more fingers or toes. This is probably the most common abnormality that is found at birth. This is found in about 2 in 1,000 children. The incidence of this is probably higher because the simple cases are usually not reported. Polydactylism can be found in other birth defects, but the majority of the cases are not associated with other abnormalities. Number 6. Elephantitis This is a parasitic infection where the arms or legs swell a great degree. The flareal worm causes the disease. It's transmitted human to human by the female mosquito when it feasts on blood. The parasite will grow into an adult, and then it lives in the lymphatic system. The skin becomes thicker, as well as a subcutaneous tissue. Then there's a large amount of swelling in the arms or legs. Another name for the condition is lymphatic filariasis. Number 5. Argyria This condition occurs when there's an injection of silver slats or prolonged contact with them. The skin becomes gray or gray-black, as well as the mucous membranes. 
This is caused by the silver deposition. The deposit of the silver can occur because of medications that have silver slats or from industrial exposure. Number 4. Trichotillomania Those that have trichotillomania have an urge to pull out their hair, which they can't control. They may pull it from the scalp, eyebrows, or even the eyelashes. This is a type of impulse control disorder. The person doing it knows they can cause damage, but they cannot stop the action. They may pull their hair out when they're stressed as a way to comfort themselves. Number 3. Cushing Syndrome When someone is exposed to high levels of cortisol for an extended period, they develop Cushing Syndrome. It's sometimes called hypercortisolism, and it often develops from the use of oral corticosteroid medication or if your body takes too much cortisol. A fatty hump between your shoulders is a common symptom of too much cortisol. You may have a rounded face as well as purple or pink stretch marks on your skin. It can also result in bone loss, high blood pressure, and on occasion you can develop diabetes. There are treatments which can improve the condition, and if you get early treatments, the better your chances for a good recovery. Number 2. Necrotizing Facilitis This is a bacterial infection, and when you get it on the genitals, it's called fornier gangrene. This is a rare but serious condition, and one out of four that get it will die from the condition. Most people that get it are in good health when they contact it. The condition destroys skin, fat, and the tissues that cover the muscles within a short period of time. It's often referred to as flesh-eating bacteria. Number 1. Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva Fibrodysplasia ossificans progressive, or FOP, is a rare type of genetic disorder. This condition causes the soft tissues to transform into bone. The bones grow abnormally in tendons, muscles, ligaments, and other connective type of tissues. It forms bridges of extra bone across joints. Movement in areas where there is FOP is difficult or impossible. The condition impacts various areas of the body such as the spine, neck, shoulders, chest, wrist, hips, elbows, ankles, knees, and the jaw. It's an autosomal dominant condition, which means that the person only has to get the gene for it from one parent to get the disease. In most cases, FOP is an accident of nature or a new mutation. In the parents of patients with FOP, they usually don't have the disease. A person with FOP does have a 50% chance of passing it to their children. Subscribe for more.